John in Sussex, England writes to me, Hey Paul, I just bought a PS Audio Power Plant P12. That's our most popular model. So thank you, sir. It's totally transformed the sound of my system, and I now seem to be hearing the music as it was intended to sound. That is exactly correct. Think the problem is the mains, which in my area is appallingly dire. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> British speak. The meter on the front of the power plant shows a THD of about 2.5%, which is not terrible. Without the power plant, my system sounds great in the early hours of the morning, but as I'm getting on in years, it was becoming more difficult to stay up that late. Now it sounds great all the time. Enjoyable 24-7, which is one of the reasons people buy power plants. Now I suppose I'm asking, what causes such dreadful distortion in the mains supply? That's actually a really good question because, you know, we tend to take our AC power for granted. It comes out of the wall, everything works. Every time you turn your stove on, your kettle, your blender, your radio, your television, it just works, right? Why would there be any difference? Well, if you had a means, like you do with the front panel of the power plant, which has a distortion analyzer, you can see the variances in distortion levels. What's more important is to look at the scope. Now, I know a lot of people, and we're even talking about getting rid of all that because I don't know how many people use it. It's expensive to build into all these products. But anyway, that's a whole other story. But there's an oscilloscope on there that people, nut jobs like me and engineers here, we understand what it's looking at. And when you look at the scope, you'll see a, what we call a flat topping of the wave. So sine waves are this nice oceany wave sort of thing. But right at the top, when the more and more people use the system, whether it's during the day that you have uh, industry, we all share the power, right? I mean, you have a power plant and it feeds the city and everybody's out here using and sharing the power. Some of them have machines that are not so kind in the way they grab power. Some of them are consumer products that don't do so nice things to the power. And it's the time of day. Obviously at night, except for a few lights and some heaters, you're not using a lot of power. So the load on the grid is a lot less. And that's why it sounds better. During the day, you're going to have a lot of usage. And the more usage, the more that flat top starts getting, or you're going to start getting these skewed waveforms. And those aren't particularly great when we're trying to charge up our audio products, right? Because our audio products typically take power only at the very peak of the sine wave. And if that peak is missing, then your raw power is going to be different than if it wasn't. And power plants make up for that. So it's everybody, all your neighbors and your friends in the city using all that power at the same time. That's what causes that distortion. So you can't do much about that, <laughs> except get a power plant. All right, thanks for the question. Bye.